In this video, I'll be affecting the visuals in After Effects using a new feature in Renoise 2.7, the multiband send device. Like the regular send device, this opens up various routing and manipulation possibilities, but the key difference between the multiband send and the regular send device is that the multiband send separates the sound into three separate frequency bands and routes each of them to a separate send track. So track 1 already has notes playing on it, and at the end of the DSP section in track 1 I've inserted the multiband send device and adjusted the various frequencies to my liking. I've enabled all three of the mute buttons here, which mutes the original sound, so that what we hear is just the output from the low, mid and high send tracks. Now I'll begin playing this just to give you an idea of what this sounds like. This is the original sound. And just the low band. The mid. And the high. As they are, this won't be very useful in After Effects because they're just filtered versions of the original sound. So in the high send track, I've inserted a filter. It's a band pass and the frequency of this is automated down and up across the pattern. And for the mid-send track, I've inserted a lo-fi mat device. And with these settings, it has the rather interesting effect of completely cutting off some of the notes. I've not done anything with the bass track, so that we still have some unaltered version of the sound coming through. And this is what all three sound like together. In After Effects, as usual, I've loaded in the sounds and I've applied the keyframe assistant to both the mid and the high tracks. I've created a fire effect here using one of the built-in particle systems and I've also used the rough and edges effect to give it a slightly more realistic finish. One of the things to watch out for with these particle effects is that, as you can see here, the particles only begin to be generated at zero seconds. And you can stop this by grabbing a hold of the bar next to the solid layer and dragging it to the left, which makes it start in time before zero seconds. Therefore, we can make use of the full flame effect from the beginning. Now using expressions and the pick whip, let's tie the birth rate of the particles into the mid track and this will create the fire itself in time with what's happening in that track and let's give it a little boost by multiplying by two and let's tie the high track into the velocity which is in the physics section this controls the speed that the particles are given as they are generated and since the fire effect itself is spinning what this will do is when the high track is at its loudest, it will really throw the particles out to the side. So let's generate a preview of that and give it a look. Back in Renoise, let's take this a little bit further with the low track. I've created two new send tracks, low one and low two. And let's insert a new device. And what we have here now is a multiband send in the send track from the first multiband send. Now we're only making use of two send tracks here, so for the destinations, we'll make the first two low one and the final one low 2 and adjust the frequency to the same value I've replaced the original low track in After Effects with the new send tracks and I've applied easy ease to the keyframes which have been built from them and let's take a look in the graph editor we can see that low 2 responds much more to individual notes, while low 1 has certain sections where the bass really powers through. 
With this information in mind, we can make a choice as to which ones to use for changing the birth size and death size of the particles, which is obviously the size of the particles as they are created and as they fade out. So let's tie the birth size into low 2 so that it spikes in time with the music and tie death size into low 1 so that during that low frequency periods the flame really erupts into a large size. Now if I just undo that for a second we can see that the original values here were actually below 1 whereas the values that we now have are above 1 and in certain sections by quite a lot. So what we're going to do here is divide this by 20 and divide that by 10. A consequence of the changes we've made here though means that sometimes the particles don't appear at all. So we'll make some extra changes in the birth rate, we'll add 1 to it and in the birth size we'll add something small, 0 0.05 and this should sort it out. Now let's render that out and see the results of affecting many different aspects of this fire all from one single track of music. Yeah.